What is the difference between iOS LiDAR meshes and point clouds? Last week I read an article on LinkedIn from the CTO and founder of Dot3D. I wanted to see if I could replicate their test results at the same time as testing out their new app release. A point cloud is a set of data points in 3D space. It is a raw representation of an environment consisting of millions of individual points with XYZ coordinates. A mesh, on the other hand, is a representation made up of interconnected triangles called polygons that approximate the surface of a space. Meshes can be good for visualizations. They have a defined topology which allows them to be manipulated and on top of that they have UV coordinates which means that you can project textures on them by adding 2D images. Point clouds can be more accurate than meshes since they capture a high level of detail and precision. This makes them useful for capturing complex and irregular shapes. It will typically have a larger file size than a mesh of the same space because point clouds contains more data. There are differences in workflows and software used for the two methods. I am using Cloud Compare for the point clouds in this video and Blender for the meshes. Both Cloud Compare and Blender are free and open source and works both for PC and Mac. And these are the three apps I used for this test. You can download and test them all for free. Here I have just downloaded the .3D app and started scanning. For the test I will be scanning this floor three times over and I wanted to show you how I'm moving around the space and where I'm pointing the iOS LiDAR sensor for full transparency. During this first scan, I'm also commenting on my first impressions of using the Dot3D app. I think that the educational material such as video tutorials and prompts you get while scanning are the best tips for capturing spaces that I have seen so far. Probably since they are more focused on this as opposed to Polycam, who have a broader range of capture modes for capturing both spaces and objects. I recommend that you check out their YouTube channel which has some great tutorials and I will also link to their website in the description where you can find case studies and workflow descriptions. Dot3D claims to have the most accurate iOS scanning app on the market and I was excited to see if their processing algorithms would make any difference in the end result. It is the only app that lets you use April tags for better precision. April tags are a type of marker that can be used for object localization and tracking. They consist of a small square tag with a black border and a binary code in the center. These tags can be easily printed and attached to walls, floors and ceilings. And they can be detected and decoded by the Dot3D app. Another feature I like is the ability to turn on the built-in flashlight for those darker areas. It's worth noting that I spent a little longer time with this first capture than I did with Polycam and Sightscape. I guess a comparison should be done using the exact same scanning path and pace, but hopefully this video will give you all the information you're looking for despite not being 100% perfect. At least it shows how much the operator movements and scanning pattern can affect your output. Using a gimbal with an iPhone has been shown to increase the accuracy and overall results. If you're scanning by hand, you should avoid sudden movements. iPads tend to be held with two hands and even that can affect the output when compared with an iPhone held with only one hand. I'm curious to know what you think about this content. Is there something you'd like to know more about? Then please let me know in the comments. If you like it, then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel where we aim to educate and share the advancement made in the iOS reality capturing field. I'm cutting out this section since I'm scanning off camera. You can see this part from the iPad perspective in the Sightscape section coming up next. From here you can skip ahead two minutes if you don't want to see me completing the last part of my Dot3D scan.
Here you can see me starting my scan with Sightscape. Sightscape has a limitation for how large scenes you can capture. However, they have a pro feature which lets you capture a larger space in up to 10 sections to be merged into one global point cloud. I'm not on their pro subscription, so I had to divide my scans into three separate sections to be merged later in Cloud Compare. I cut out some sections of this video to show only the active scanning parts. Sightscape was recently acquired by Faro, a leading company for 3D measurements for the past 40 years. It will be interesting to see where that takes them. My total scanning time with Sightscape was around 5 minutes. I am of course linking to both Sightscape and Polycam's websites in the description as well. SketchUp is our preferred CAD production tool and it's also used for parts of this video. During this part of the scanning with Sightscape I experienced drift issues. I always try to move slow when I'm scanning but here I think I'm guilty of moving a little too fast and scanning in an unusual way due to the mirror. This drift happened minutes into the third section of scanning and with the screen recorder running for several minutes at the same time. My polycam capture was the fastest of the three and that should be considered when comparing the output and accuracy of the measurements. My total scanning time with Polycam was around 4 minutes. After capturing the point clouds and mesh, I used a Bosch GLM40 laser measure to compare with the 3D scan measurements. This can be a fast and easy way to ensure you get the accuracy level needed for your project. Typically, the next step in the process is to convert the mesh or the point cloud into a BIM or a CAD model that is optimized and structured depending on the specific use case. Our production department can help you in the process of digitizing your buildings. Reach out to us today to learn more. Here you can see the results of my manual measurements. And now I'm moving on to compare these measurements with the results from my scanning. This is the point cloud captured with Dot3D. Compared with other iOS apps that I have tried, the free version of Dot3D is a little more limited in what you can do with the output file when you're done scanning. I could only add one measurement, which I then had to move around to check the point cloud accuracy. At the moment, there is no exporting in the free version, but it looks like a web sharing feature will be included soon. Overall, I'm very impressed with both the accuracy and the visual quality of the point cloud seen here in the Dot3D app. Moving on to Sightscape. The three sections that I captured individually automatically line up when I import them to Cloud Compare. The only thing I had to do was to merge them together and then I cut the top off so I could proceed to measure from point to point. The results can be seen here. Unfortunately, I had some issues with drift while scanning with Sightscape. Drift is a fairly common issue with SLAM devices. SLAM stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. You can read more about that in detail in the .3D article I'm linking in the video description. So let's take a closer look at what happened. Here you can see me scanning an area around a mirror. Note that I'm not scanning the actual mirror glass as it will create a duplicate of the room. If you look closely now, you will see how the screen glitches and makes a small jump as I'm scanning the two tables. You will also see how the round tables gets extended into more of an oval shape. The drift is visible in the point cloud and when merged with the other two sections at the other end of the room, it is even more noticeable. I scanned this space with an iPad M1 from 2022 and as you can see, I was running the screen recorder simultaneously, which I guess can affect the results. With Polycam, I'm using Blender to do a similar process as I did with Sightscape. Basically cutting the top of the 3D file and using the built-in measurement tool to check the accuracy. 
With Polycam, the largest error in measurements was the depth of the kitchen area. The wall seen here was tricky for all apps, but the optimization process of meshes can make these kinds of surfaces turn out more wrong than a point cloud optimization. Here you can see a step in the wall which is not there in reality. Here you can see the summary of the measurements that I captured today, and here is the difference between the laser and each app in millimeters. Some other differences I think are worth mentioning is the time I spent with each capture, the file size and the price for the Pro subscription. This video is brought to you by LiDAR3D.io. We offer CAD production and consulting services and are here to help support you in implementation of this new technology. We work with you to create end results that are optimized for your specific use case and can work based on any input files you can give us. Let us help you design workflows and deliveries tailored to your needs. You no longer have to be a CAD wizard or have a huge budget to get access to 3D as it should be. Reach out to us today to learn more. Thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned for more.